Most recently, my grandma called me up before I was touring in Chicago because it's so close. And she's like, I want to come with you on the road. So I agreed. I flew into Wisconsin. I picked her up. And she came with me to Chicago while I headlined the Laugh Factory for five days. She stayed out with me and all the comics every single night, all those five days, until 2 in the morning. She's a rock star. She was drinking her little Miller Lights on the rocks. You know how weird it is to be walking home with your grandma at 2 in the morning, wasted and pretending like you're doing her a favor and you're just <laughs> leaning on her? I'm just laying on her. I'm like, Grandma, I got you. <laughs> your poor soft bones. Like, I just, what a terrible thing for me to do. But while we were staying in this hotel together, I had to do a podcast. And grandparents don't understand podcasts. It's just the radio or not the radio, right? So I was in this hotel room, and I was like, Grandma, I have to do this podcast. Nobody's going to know that you're in the room with me. I'm going to have them on speakerphone, just hang out in the corner. And as soon as I start the podcast, she takes that super literally, and she goes and sits in the corner and just watches me creepily over her shoulder. I don't. I don't know if you've ever had to try to have a 45-minute conversation with a stranger in Texas while somebody that you love is sitting in the corner doing this. But it's really hard to concentrate. I don't even know what I said on that podcast. I'm just, all I'm doing is staring into her eyes the whole time, hoping that she doesn't hurt her neck. So at the end of the podcast, the guys in the other line were like, all right, Natasha, it's, it's been so good talking to you, but we just want to know, what is it like trying to make it in Hollywood? What is it like being a woman in comedy? And I was like, I don't think any of that matters. I think we're all just trying to not die. <laughs> and my grandma screams from the corner of the room, I'm trying to die! <laughs> I want to die, I'm ready! So. <laughs> Grandma's banned from podcasts. She's <laughs> never thought I would say that in my life. So when we got back from that trip, I called her up and I was like, listen, Grandma, I feel like you need to make some friends that are around your own age, that have been through what you've been through. You need some local friends, somebody that you can see physically, consistently. So I signed you up for this widow's club. And she goes, no, I don't want to do that. And I was like, you have to go to the widow's club. And she's like, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to make new friends. And so finally she agreed. And I called her the week after she went. And I was like, how was the widow's club? She goes, I hated it. They're all old. <laughs>